Continuing studies is ultimately a very generous exercise. It's about giving rice to the community and then also allowing the community to engage rice in a way that makes rice a better place. And so the vision for the building from the beginning was about one of generosity. A community is a vital being when people are interested and they're doing things and they're participating. And certainly continuing studies provides this. Uh, the first day that I walked out on the site, um, Susie Glasscock met me there and walked the site and wanted to make sure that the architects that they were hiring understood the importance of this building, not just to the campus, but to all of Houston. We have a vision for the second century. One of the tenets is that Rice has to engage with the community. It's an imperative that we do that. Rice's value system is, is essential to doing work here. And the first thing that we do as a designer is actually not study uh, the buildings in the physical place. We try to understand the broader context, uh, in this case, who, who is Rice? What does it mean to be a Rice student, to be a Rice faculty, to be a part of the Rice community as an alum, uh, or as a continuing studies student? that this commitment to excellence, uh, the high academic standards, uh, a commitment to the highest level of quality, uh, intimacy, accessibility, uh, some of the things that Rice stands for became really critical as we thought about architectural expression. We have retired people coming to our programs, we have teachers coming to our programs, we have people from the nonprofit world, we have young people who are just getting started on their careers, we have people who've been successful in lifelong careers. Um, but just want to learn something new and we welcome everyone and in some ways we're the open door of Rice. In order to make the building really fit the campus it, it is not just about uh, surface application but when Cram and Goodhue were designing these buildings I'm convinced that they laid out almost a, a, a campus structure or grid on their um, on their drawing table and then laid every building over it. So for example, we see throughout the campus uh, there's a horizontal or a vertical to horizontal ratio that's usually are between one to six and one to seven. At Rice we have very long low buildings. That's unusual in most campus environments. And so we thought it was important that our building fit that and it does. Uh, secondly, the structural base spacing historically was 15 feet on center and so we picked up on that module on our building. And then finally, within that 15-foot module, there was almost always a three-part or tripartite division of windows. Uh, we took that same module and, and uh, put that across the entire building and then really uh, began to uh, skin the building on top of the skeleton that was deeply embedded in the thinking behind the, the historic buildings. As an architect, as a designer, when you get to this point where you're given a site that that's, seems distant from the campus, uh, one way to think about that is, well, we'll just take total freedom and do whatever we feel like doing because it doesn't matter. In fact, we took the opposite approach. We thought it was more important that this building really be integrated into the campus because the visitors here needed to get a taste of rice. Uh, they may not be going to other buildings on the campus, but they needed to know they were at rice. And we also want to make sure that as we move into the future, there, was, there wasn't the old campus and the new campus, but one campus, Rice University. Gate 8 is the single largest used gate on the campus. Most people don't realize that. Currently, you drive into a parking lot, and that's the way most pe people experience Rice. We felt like the building was an opportunity to change that experience, to really begin to create a precinct that would reshape the way you think about uh, this part of Rice. Uh, we're pulling the gates to uh, gate 8 back. The first building you'll see to the left will be the Continuing Studies building. It really will mark the entrance to campus. Across the lawn, uh, you're going to see uh, you're going to see this expansive lawn leading up to a very gentle terrace. Um, you'll be able to peer into the event commons, see the activity beyond, and, and, and uh, in the evening, I think in particular as the inside illuminates, the building will become very transparent and you'll be able to look into the activity. Of course, most of the classes happen in the evening, so it's ideally uh, located and situated for the time of day and the activity to really extrovert itself to the broader community. Um, you're going to see very common uh, building materials to rice. The St. Joe's brick, uh, we're going to use a very kind of pale, uh, 
gray, pink brick, uh, patinated copper, which has this beautiful blue-green color, which is common on the campus. And of course, you know, one of the things that always heralds an entrance on, on Rice campus is an archway. So the main entrance uh, will be framed by, by an alley of trees across a plaza to an arched entryway that welcomes you into the Continuing Studies Building lobby. All of the work that we do is really designed to be uh, friendly to the environment. So we're very concerned about the building being green, sustainable, whatever the language is that you choose to use at this moment in time. For us, it really, it's about doing a high performance building, one that will uh, be responsible in the way we manage resources, both financial and energy resources, that will be um, loved for a long period of time. The most sustainable building is one that doesn't get torn down. And so designing something that is of a quality and, and where people develop enough affection for it that it's going to be around for a couple hundred years is the most sustainable thing we can do. When those classrooms are full, we are reaching people in Houston in a way that, that Bryce can't do any other way. Mel and I have supported continuing studies because it's something we truly believe in, not only for Rice, but for Houston. So working with David Lebrun, our president, we are raising money for a new building that will house continuing studies, state-of-the-art classrooms, lots of good technology, a beautiful building that will be at the entrance of the campus, eight, entrance eight. Um, and it will be a gorgeous building with a big lawn and trees and will be perfect for people to find and to enjoy when they come from off campus.